What is the crack, lads? And welcome to episode five of our Master League series for Pez 2013. And as you can see here, this is going to be kind of a highlights and an overview of the next couple of matches that we're playing, trying out a couple of different formats for this Master League and the episodes and stuff. As you can see there, we have been successful in a couple of negotiations. We'll go through them as we head into our first match against Fulham, who Fulham are in the top 10 of the Premier League. We're struggling, lads. We're struggling. So a lot of these matches, it's just going to be one or two clips as I try to yeah, get through the season a little bit quicker and let me know what you guys think. Do you like highlight packages like this where I just kind of do a roundup of maybe five or six matches that aren't high stakes or aren't that important and give an overview of the transfers and stuff? Or do you like the kind of two matches per episode? Also, we can see there that Hummels is interested in coming. Now, lads, Samuel Eto'o for 25 million with a salary of 8 million is huge. Hummels for 20 million with a salary of 3 is a little bit more um, feasible. But yeah, we won't be signing anyone till the January transfer window. So let me know. Even if we don't get him in this transfer, we can get him again in you know the later date for January. You can go back in for him because we do have him on our featured players that they will actually join us in our list of targets. So... I've been really struggling, lads, in the Premier League. It doesn't seem to, to matter what I do. I always kind of have to grind out results. Um, we do get off to a brilliant start against Stoke. Obviously, if you score the first goal, you are going to you are going to have a bit more of a, an impact in being able to create chances and stuff. But it just seems that, like, my squad, I'm, I'm lacking something, lads. I'm lacking something up front. Rooney is banging them in for me, but I just can't keep pace with Man City, to be fair. Man City are top of the leaderboard by a good bit, and Arsenal as well. Um, or, sorry, Arsenal are top of the leaderboard, and then Man City are just pumping goals in for fun as well. Uh, so it's going to be very difficult for me. I mean, 10 points behind Arsenal as it is, is, is going to be a difficult one. And we do have Liverpool and this was at Anfield as well. So in PES 2013, there was kind of a big emphasis on the derbies and a big emphasis on the atmosphere and Liverpool and that the players form would be up and stuff like that if you were away. This is the team that I went for that I've been trying out. It's a 3-3 um, kind of four up front with cleverly well it's more like a 3-4-3 three, three, realistically with Ronaldinho as an SS or an attacking midfielder but this was a really difficult game and I mean I tried a load of stuff I tried out wings with the corners with crosses I tried you know intricate true passes I tried like little tiki taka ping pong passing um, and genuinely I just I just feel I've just kind of come to the realization is that the team just isn't good enough I mean when I get into the final third I just I just can't seem to be able to pull the trigger apart from when Rooney if Rooney's on good form or he's on top form I'm able to kind of like score the odd goal you can see there Smalling just glides past me that is a big bit of an issue in PES 2013 I remember at the time online as well you just kind of glide past but this was our best chance of the day 77 minutes on the clock Ronaldinho steps up and that wasn't too far away as you can see Butty here in a second absolutely livid and raging he is raging, fogging up the glasses with that chance. We do get one final chance at the end in the 80th minute, Javi Hernandez. And this is what I'm talking about. I just feel like if I had Pato there, or even if I had Torres or somebody top class that's like a 90 plus rated finisher in the game, I think that's going in. You know, I think that that's going in. Um, but yeah, and then obviously down the other end as well, you are always going to concede chances, um, you know, half chances here, half chances there. But when we do kind of score goals, it seems to be kind of like, you know, moments of brilliance like this with a true ball and then Rooney, of course, coming to the fore with the cheekiest of chips to put it in the back of the net. And to be honest with you, lads, the Champions League might be our best bet for winning something this season uh, because I think over the course of two legs until we get to the final, I do fancy our chances that we'll be able to stay really tight at the back, even if we need to play five at the back to grind out a result. Here you can see again, caught on the break, 86 minutes on the clock and we just get a free run at it. But look at Berbatov. He makes a lot of hard work out of this. Now the finish is superb from Berba. He is, he is brilliant at finishing, but yeah, I just feel as that I'm missing that, that cutting edge up front. Obviously, I need to pair Rooney with somebody. I don't think that one up front suits me and suits my play style, and it definitely doesn't suit the mechanics of Pez 2013. That's just my opinion. Get away with a dodgy tackle here. The ref says play on, but QPR really tight at the back. They get the best chance of the game here for them in the 64th minute. Clear by De Gea. He comes out and he slides it clear. And this was our only chance of the game, lads. This was one of the weirdest, tightest, most like compact games 
games literally had to run with nanny like a headless chicken like I'm playing five a side on a Friday night with a bunch of older lads ball comes back in here just does not bob for me does not weave for me and I can't get any rebounds interceptions or anything same in the Aston Villa match this was kind of a crazy game as well where I get dragged out of possession here ball in the behind the back Ferdinand and within the first 25 minutes we're a goal down and this is obviously going to be a disaster for us if we lose this game or even if we draw because I think we need realistically if we are going to win the league we need about 15 wins between now and the end of the season and we need to probably draw the rest of them. that was a lovely touch from Welbeck and Ronaldinho gets us back into it with uh, just before the half time is excellent play by Welbeck maybe when I'm watching these highlights I will I will give Welbeck another chance but that is how it kind of ended up there as you can see there lads we've got 15 points we are going to be playing Panathinaikos in the last round of the last round of that where we had them on the 31st and as you see our schedule is not getting any easier in November and December um, which is going to be difficult for us because as I said it is going to be tight at the top I think you're not going to be too many points being dropped but let me know lads let me know what you think of this kind of episode as well just a little short episode to recap um, instead of sitting down and watching you know two big highlight packages but yeah we might mix this up a little bit every now and again um, and cover a, a wide variety of matches but yeah let me know lads and I will talk to you later hope you're enjoying the series don't forget to like favorite and subscribe peace